Hello everyone, Carla Gibson coming to you this morning. Today we're going to talk about applying ancient oils and how we can use those today. Um, for those that don't know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Carla Gibson. I've been doing essential oils for about three years now with Young Living. That's the brand that I choose to use. They are a wonderful company. They do not use pesticides or chemicals. They even own their own farms and have co-op farms around the globe. Just a wonderful company. But today I want to talk more about applying um, ancient oils, a little bit of their history and how we can use them today. Are they still beneficial? They used them um, um, throughout history. Can we still use them today? Do they still have the same effect on us? Well, let's talk about that. Essential oils or oils as they called them, they called them by the plants. Today we use, we use the term essential oils. It's the essence of the plant. It's the lifeblood of the plant. Essential oil, um, it's like I said, the lifeblood of the plant. It just runs through the vein of the plant, just like our blood runs through our veins. Um, they've been used throughout century. Their use, their uses and benefits, it's nothing new. The earliest evidence of essential oils was found in some cave paintings in France. The Greek physician uh, Hi Hippocrates, known as the father of medicine, documented the effects uh, of some 300 plants, including thyme, saffron, marjoram, cumin, and peppermint. And these are just to name a few. Like I said, he's known as the father of medicine and documented over 300. You can look him up, find um, his book and documents on him that he has um, written and that has been written about him. They're also mentioned over 300 times in the Bible. They used them as medicine, purification, rituals, used them for romance, perfumes, and even used them for embalming. One that's mentioned in the Bible is hyssop. Hyssop um, has been mentioned several times, and it's usually used for cleansing. Hyssop and cedar wood were used together in Leviticus, you can find, uh, for cleansing leprosy. It was something before that you could be um, okay to go back out in public. You had to um, use hyssop and cedar wood to cleanse your house, to cleanse your body. Um, and there was a ritual that was symbolic that they used, but hyssop has benefits that actually cleanses your blood and your body, and that's something that they knew. And when you went through this ritual, and then you went through a process, I believe it was on the eighth day, you were able to be deemed to come back out among the people. Um, yeah, you'll find that in Leviticus 14, 4 through 7. Then shall the priest command to take for him that is to be cleansed two birds alive and clean and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop. So it was used to cleanse a person and their house of leprosy. Leviticus 14.7 And he shall sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from leprosy seven times and shall pronounce him clean and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. And the whole process there with uh, one bird just showed like the sickness, the death, how it was dying, the living bird. Like I said, they use this for um, symbolism, um, just showed now that they're clean and they're alive and they were able to let it go. Um, so there's many uses for hyssop and how it can be used today. Um, it's been known to help still uh, with cleansing and with the skin, with also the respiratory system. Cedar wood has been used to combat hair loss and skin problems. I use cedar wood along with lavender to enhance sleep. Um, just mix about 15 drops of each in a roller ball about this size and then fill the rest with a carrier oil. I choose to use fractionated coconut oil, but you can use um, other carrier oils like olive oil, almond oil, but just 15 drops each of cedarwood, lavender, and then your carrier oil. 
roll that on the bottom of your feet or down your spine at night and just notice how much more or better that you actually rest at night. We have lavender. Um, lavender is obviously none of these plants are anything new, but lavender was discovered or first recorded by a scientist, Rene Gestoff. Um, he discovered it when he was doing some experiments in his laboratory and he had an explosion. Um, well, it burned his hand or his arm and um, so he dipped it in lavender and then he noticed um, after doing that how much it soothed it and it healed his skin. So um, it was known uh, with many, let's see what it put here, discovered lavender's ability to promote tissue regeneration and speed wound healing when he burned his arm in the laboratory explosion. So that's when it was first recorded for the benefits of healing and regenerating the skin. Um, lavender to us is known as the Swiss Army Knife of essential oils because it has so many benefits. We always use the, the term, when in doubt, use lavender. Um, but it's also known to help respiratory system, your skin, um, it helps with emotional effects if you're having a bad day um, or you can't focus, you're having a hard time sleeping, concentrating, or you just need to calm and relax. Add some lavender, about maybe five drops, to a diffuser. And while you sleep at night or throughout the day or you're working, have it on your desk and just sit there and breathe in and notice the effects that lavender is just having on you and how it calms. Um, it's just one way. You can also put it in your hand and breathe it in and notice also how um, you just start feeling just relaxed and calm with lavender. And these, what I'm mentioning here today, this is just a few ways that you can use these essential oils. There are so many different benefits to each one of them. Um, frankincense. This oil, if many of you are familiar with the Bible story of baby Jesus and how the wise men brought uh, frankincense was one of the gifts. And um, it is known as the holy anointing oil. But it was there for many reasons. Frankincense um, was more precious and valuable than gold. So if you had a lot of frankincense or even a little, I mean, you were known pretty much as a wealthy person. Uh, but they used it um, for trading, but they also used it for medicinal and health purposes because it has many, many benefits. I use frankincense today in my face creams um, because it is known to help with anti-aging, with skin blemishes. You can mix frankincense and lavender together, especially if you have a scar that you're wanting to um, get rid of or diminish because it has regenerated uh, properties to it that can just get in there. As you heard me tell the story, um, how it's documented, how lavender, uh, frankincense has the same properties in it as well. That's just really great with that. And if you have any stories uh, along with that, I would love to hear them. How have you used any of these essential oils? How have they benefited you? What's your testimony? I would love to hear that. Lemon essential oil, uh, well, this one is known to detox. It's great to put a few drops in your water in the morning, and it just helps to start detox your body, your liver, but it also um, helps wake you. It's also uh, known as an emotional oil too. So um, it's a happy oil. So if you're having a hard time waking up or just getting going, it'll give you some energy. Put it in your diffuser in the morning while you're getting ready, and it just helps alert and wake you up. Not to mention that it smells great, and it is getting into your system and helping to detox your body. I use a blend of lemon, grapefruit, and peppermint. I do about three drops each in a gel capsule each morning, and this helps with weight management. Uh, peppermint is one of the oldest herbs for soothing digestion. So if you have any uh, digestive problems or you've ate something that just isn't agreeing with you, put a few drops of um, peppermint in your water and 
drink that or you can put it in a gel capsule as well and just notice how it starts soothing and that's another reason why I like Young Living essential oils uh, because they have a vitality line that you can yes you can actually ingest them like the peppermint and the lemon are great to add to your water and drink um, they're great for your system you can use with a carrier oil you can apply them on your skin especially if you're having any pain or discomfort because lavender peppermint these are some great oils to use for sore muscles use with a carrier oil put one to three drops of the essential oil because it doesn't take much um, of that essential oil to use and um, just rub it on the area uh, if it's your lower back you can put it on your bottom of your feet your vita flex points um, and it'll just start targeting those areas in your body it's very important that we start paying attention to our health because we use about 300 toxic chemicals a day if you haven't already started uh, swapping out certain products that are filled with toxins look in your bathroom I encourage you to do that because uh, they are in the our morning routines um, you can use anywhere from um, 1 to 80 toxic chemical products a day just go in and Google uh, dangers of put one of those ingredients in and just see what pops up and I know um, they say well it's just a little amount it's not gonna hurt you but think about how much you're using this and these toxic ingredients get into our system and they stay there they can stay there for up to 10 years and then at some point when they build up then they can start releasing and then we start having problems and issues um, so it's good to start caring about our health now and not just when we notice something's not right and we go to the doctor and we're like oh no start taking care of yourself now and you can do that by start eliminating some of these toxic products that's within your home anything that you use that gets into your skin that you breathe in I meant from your laundry detergents to um, your bathroom products your cleaning products all this gets into your skin and a little bit over time adds up and it can cause problems so that's why I recommend using essential oils I use Young Living and I would love to share more with you about the company um, and there are other companies out there use what uh, is best for you but I recommend also knowing who you use because there are so many out there and with lack of regulations on essential oils they can put 10 percent of a plant in there and then they can fill it with what they want and label it a hundred percent which is scary young living like I said they do not use chemicals or pesticides they are a hundred percent pure when they say you're getting lemon lemon is exactly what you're getting um, thieves essential oil is one I think I have that one here with me is a great uh, blend this one is um, back when the uh, plague was going around I believe it was the 15th century this baby is a blend of several different essential oils like clove it has cinnamon rosemary um, so it had the herbs and spices in it there was a group of thieves that was going around and they were stealing from the dead uh, but the plague was very contagious but when these guys got caught um, they were asked how come you know everybody was astonished why aren't you guys sick and the judge said well we'll lessen your sentence if you tell us what you're doing so they gave up the recipe of what they were using and putting on their self and Young Living has made a blend of this and it is called thieves um, so during the time of years um, when things are running around like colds and flus I put this on put it in your diffuser while you sleep at night make a roller ball uh, rub it on the bottom of your feet especially put it on the kids before they go off to school each morning or just out about um, when they're in a crowd or whatnot or if you're off to church uh, nursery uh, because it, it will help build your immune system and help you fight off against um, any of the germs that are out there and I can tell you it works great on our family but I was talking about earlier frankincense I make a facial serum and I'll be happy to share any of these recipes with you guys uh, and I put this on my face every morning and night um, and I just love what it does to my skin 
I also, with peppermint and lavender and witch hazel, make a, because um, we're here in sunny Florida, it's summertime, and that sun can be brutal. So this is a sunburn relief spray that, uh, and it works wonders when you've, um, hopefully you don't get sunburn, but when you do, spray that on and it just starts soothing. Also make for my hair, because being out here in the sun and um, the pools or the ocean, um, a mermaid spray, I spray on my hair too. Like I said, I'll be happy to share. So there's a lot of DIY products you can make for yourself. Um, now I am of the age, I need to start focusing on balancing my hormones. And let's face it, it doesn't really matter what age we are, ladies. This is something that um, at any time our hormones can be off balance, but I use a blend from Young Living Progestion Plus along with Clary Sage. Um, and these, again, are every plant and herb that you find in these, they've been around since century. And these are things that we can use today. Guys, I wanna thank you for joining me. I would love to hear from you, any thoughts that you have. What are you using um, today or have you? Um, let me know. Love to hear from you. Carla Gibson here. Guys, have a blessed day.